Hello everybody and welcome back to City of Heroes in the Chronicles of Zap Paladin. Our last episode, Zap had just finished a uh, radio mission. It took me a moment to remember that. And he has finished enough of them now where I'm pretty certain when I look at the radio... Yep. While listening to, or while listening for the latest signs of trouble, you hear a call asking for heroes to speak with Detective Freetag directly. Something big is happening. So, this is what happens when you get the uh, uh, all the detective missions, the radio missions. You get a bank mission. A villain from the Rogue Isles has shown up in King's Row, intent on robbing the bank with an army of skulls. We need heroes to go to King's Row and protect the bank from that villain. The robbers have probably made their way to the bank by now, so you should make your way there immediately. You probably have about five minutes or less before they make their escape. So, and then the orange stuff is just telling you uh, what goes on, which is, this is a safeguard mission. Once you prevent the heist, you'll have 15 minutes to explore the area and potentially earn extra rewards before the Paragon Police Department lock down the area. You can earn extra time by defeating vandals and completing side missions. However, you can lose time if they destroy too much of the city. So let's go ahead. We're going to protect the King's Row Bank. That's what superheroes do, right? So we're going to hop into the back of this van. Even though we're already in King's Row. <laughs> You run over to King's Row as fast as you can with the skull while the skulls are trying to take out. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to read that because you really don't have a lot of time to get there. In fact, before I even get there, there'll probably be a notification that they're already escaping. So thankfully, Zap can fly. He can get there really fast. Yep, there it is already. Because uh, once they get out of this building, they're difficult to find. And all they have to do is make their way to... Um, uh, the helicopter, or the getaway point. There are a lot more there than I expected. The skulls are actually getting a little bit smart by bringing more people in. Okay, he'll come back eventually. In fact, he's useful because he's showing me the way. Haha. -ha. There we go, the robbers are getting away, so I'm going to run into them pretty soon. They're going to be coming back this way. And there'll be money just flying around behind them. Because they don't care, apparently. There they are. Who's this? Okay, I got all my... Oh my goodness, I've got my powers all messed up here. Um, okay, I'm really screwed up here. There we go, okay. The Marshal Gloom. There needs to be a way to lock so you can't do what I just did, which is change train numbers. Thankfully, he's just a lieutenant. There we go. Yay. So we have protect... We have... Saved the bank from being robbed. And now we've got 15 minutes or so to look around the rest of King's Row. So what is there to do? You could just leave. But there are other things going on in this zone. So for instance, there are the Vandals. So let's go check those out. There they are. And there's also... up. Oh, yeah. There's also clockwork hanging out here. Because, of course, it is King's Row. There we go. Okay, and there's our vandals. Gonna hover that blast.
and then we got you know a minute minute 30 it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense because it's it took longer than that just to get those vandals but oh well but there are other things that we can look for <clears throat> in the city uh, um, specifically like maybe these skulls right here Up. And th critters have in exceptional perception in these uh, uh, bank missions. So you saw those clockwork saw me. Did th those? Oh my gosh, those clockwork actually killed. That's the first time I've seen that. Um, but they have exceptional um, perception. So they'll see you from a long distance and they'll attack you. They'll aggro. So what I'm looking for are critters doing... There we go. See him up there with the torch? I'm betting you he has is doing something else in the city. So let's take out these clockwork nearby. Oh, I don't know why I'm hovering. The oscillator can fly as well. Okay. found. Now we have a waypoint. Yep. Stop the arson. And then once inside, the perception drops again, which is kind of weird, but anyhow. Disarm the barm barms? Disarm the barms. That's what I'm gonna have to call them from now on. They're barms. Oh, it's diffusing, so I guess I'm diffusing the fumes. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what's in those drums. Dynamite attached to something. Oh, I have friends. <laughs> okay. Yay! We have saved the building from being bombed. So let's see what else what else is out there. We have some vil uh, vandals here, so let's take care of the vandal. I think when they have hoodlum as part of their name, they're a vandal. That's what the pattern looks like so far. Yep, looks like I got... Yep, bonus time. I can ignore the clockwork. But I'm going to take them out anyhow because they're in my way. Okay. Then we have people just wandering around. 
Which makes sense. They don't know. Just because a bank is being robbed doesn't mean the entire area is going to be evacuated. Okay, I should really come up with a better pattern for canvassing this neighborhood. Because I'm looking for more skulls doing nefarious things. This is where we entered the map. Oh, there we go. A bone daddy holding... What is that, an old CRT? Nope, looks like a microwave. No, that's an old CRT. Really? You know, just keep it. <laughs> I think one of the things that they did do with the game um, when it came back is, or while it was in secret mode, <laughs> is some of the maps they went in and updated a lot of the offices to replace the CRTs with flat screens. So we got another key in a, in a pawn shop. <laughs> so, let's go in and find out what's in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't deal with that right now. You're welcome, citizen. Girlfriend's gonna love this stuff. Oh, hello. These skulls, they kind of blend right in. Slap machines. Huh. See, there's a whole bunch of flat screens there. Why is that guy holding a, a CRT? Oh well. Whoa! Ah! He's coming around corners and they're finding them there. lot of damage. Did I get some enhancements in there? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. So you saw how much damage it does. It's a really good power. It just has that long wind-up. Uh-oh. Reinforcements coming in. They seem to be interested in the, the the vault door. Okay. All right. We have saved the robber, or we have saved the robbery. We have prevented the robbery. Let's see what other heroic things we can do within this neighborhood of King's Row, which I believe is High Park.
That's fly a little bit higher. <clears throat> oh dear, really? Relentless. All right, is that where the vandals are? No, that's where that mission was. Well, I don't know where the vandals are. We're just looking for skulls. Yeah, this perception thing, and they can see you from a mile away before you can even see them. It's kind of the opposite of uh, what happens in the actual missions. Where you can see them, but they still can't seem to see you. Okay, I'm now going to aggro this other one. There. This one seems to be stuck. Okay. Now, I saw a couple skulls over here. Bonus time! Woo! Vandals defeated. Okay. Clockwork, clockwork. Just looking for skulls right now. Shouldn't be anything around here. Not with all the police cars. I think I've already been through here. More clockwork. Some NPCs. Some clockwork. Okay. It would really help if I would click the right buttons here. You, I could use the keyboard, but for some reason I just prefer to use the mouse to click the Okay. I really should just take out some of these clockwork that have been bothering me. And the and the residents of King's Row. I suppose I could do that too. Okay. No, folks at King's Row, I'm just gonna take out the things that annoy me. Vandals. Oh, there's some skulls up there. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, there was just the one. Okay. Dust mine eyes to see me. I think I see something up there. Right where the waypoint is, of all things. It is! It's an exploration badge! Yay! Alright, so I've done the what have I done I saved the pawn shop and I saved the building from being blown up 
There's usually a couple more than that in these missions. So I'm going to keep looking. Whoa, whoa. Every time I see... Whoa. Okay. Hello. No means no. Okay. I was about to say, every time I see these floating bits of paper, it makes me think of Amer American Beauty. If you've never seen it, I would recommend it. I wasn't going to clear out everything in the in High Park, but I guess I am now. And oh, hey, there's another one. These things are big. Still thinks that there's a vandal thing over there, but I didn't see anything. Still looking for skulls doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Or clockwork, I guess. Gonna get almost an entire level out of this mission. But we're gonna make certain. I guess at this point, I've got 12 minutes. Let's just completely. Let's make certain High Park is completely safe. Okay. I suppose that is the heroic thing to do. City of Convenience. <laughs> oh yeah, let's take a, see, I was mentioning earlier, see how he's holding his head in his hand? I always thought that was just a neat touch on the character designs. More vandals causing mayhem. Well, I guess I'll find them eventually. Fly through here, I've already been through here, yep, okay. There's a line oscillator and another line oscillator, but I really don't care about that area anymore. This is the bank. I've already covered that. Looks like there's our vandals. I have a kitty cat who's being extremely affectionate at the moment. She's my sidekick. Bonus time! Alright. And she's making it really difficult to use the keyboard at the moment. <laughs> Those of you with kitties may have, have run into the uh, the cat just kind of like will insist on your attention so she's butting her head against my hands right now alright I have looked at this area to pretty much exhaustion let's check other areas out
and I'm pretty certain I've covered all of this area of High Park. Because I really want those other side missions. Because there is a badge for them. I gotta have my badges. Be glad I haven't bored you all with the exploration badges and going through each of the city zones looking for them. Okay, let's take a look at the whole map. That's the bank over there, right? No, that's this monstrous building right here that I can't get around. Okay. Closer look up here. More clockwork. Right to the edge, okay. Nothing. This is a giant building that I can't get around. Uh, we already, I've already discussed that. I can't get through that building, okay. Um, and then there's this building, which... Okay, we've got some clockwork back here. Ah. Cleared that area out. I just don't know what I'm missing anymore. I really don't. I guess that was it. That's kind of disappointing. Oh wait, here's a... Oh, they just took a fire hydrant out. Sorry, I keep. I want to see the fire hydrant because I've, I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay. I think I've I've cleared the area. There might be a couple clockwork still hanging around, but... Looks like that is it. So the area, High Park, is safe again. Of course, this is where Paladin shows up. And Paladin is a giant monster, but not in this mission. But this is the neighborhood of King's Row that it shows up in. 
Alright, so we are done with this. We're going to go ahead and exit. And let's go talk to the detective. Great work, Zap Paladin. King's Row is now a safer place thanks to you. I hear some of my other friends would like to meet you. So this is the other reason that you want to talk to or do the missions. You get introduced to new contacts. Uh, Alphonse Rubel, who's a courier, he zips all over the city delivering important packages and messages. Sees a lot of what's going down on this, going down with the lost in the skulls. And then there's Lorenzo de Cosa, who has some solid leads on current council activity, and he's on the streets of Skyway City. Or do I want skulls and lost, or do I want council? We'll do council. Are you sure? Yes. Lorenzo, Lorenzo is well placed to provide information. Please don't judge him too harshly, is that Paladin? Okay. All right. So we now have a new contact, and you know what that means. Um, he was over in Skyway, but Carla wants me to go and take some clockwork out and steal. So these are two new neighborhoods for Zap. I don't think he's been to either one yet. Okay, I just, I can't let this happen. There you go. Menacing citizens. And I think I mentioned it before, Clockwork are probably my favorite faction in the game, only because of the background to them. They are not what they appear. And I don't know if I'll get that arc. It's kind of random, unfortunately. I can force it through the Ouroboros. Zap is almost ready for Ouroboros. I think you have to be 14 to get there. And Ouroboros is a really neat little... Oh, I did not want north, but oh well. <laughs> a neat little zone that allows you to go back and find content and play content that you missed. So we got off at the wrong stop. Uh, welcome to Steel Canyon. Um, I always thought it was named because it was referring to uh, the canyon made by the buildings, and it did not occur to me until I was playing it about a month ago, a month and a half ago, that literally the city is just a giant canyon. And uh, this is where all the ore trading occurred in Paragon City. So, all the districts are named like Copper District, Silver Lake, Fool's Gold, and stuff like that. But we got off at the wrong stop. Um, this is the north part of Steel Canyon, which is a little bit dangerous. Let's go. There's another tram station down here to the south. It's a little bit safer there. So let's go down there. So we want Steel Canyon south. There we go. Okay. So now you can see we're down here. And this is a slightly safer area. So the reason we came to Steel Canyon, folks, is we needed to combat uh, clockwork. And this is not going to be easy because, if I remember, the clockwork in Steel Canyon... Uh, I think they're like 16, 15, so they're going to be a little bit difficult. And they love to hang out on the rooftops in Steel Canyon. Love to hang out on the steel... Yep, there they are, right there. Oh, these guys, these ones are only 10. Test the night night. Cannon night there, but. If I take out the oscillators first, I should be pretty good. And good, I didn't aggro the entire group. Now I got the coal group.
Oh, watch out. Don't want to get those outcasts over there. Outcasts are another faction. There are so many different factions in this game. Alright, well, wow, that took care of a, uh, what was it I needed? Ten. That took care of six of them. No, <laughs> not that many at that level. Ah, yes, Paragon University. There are three universities in the city. Um, oh, and I forgot, there is a badge on the top of that building right there. Right there. Um, the universities are kind of just a... Um, where you learn to craft stuff. Um, I might actually get sent there. There's a contact that's in there. Um, I don't know who came up with the interior of the university, but it's not like any university that I've ever seen. <laughs> but, anyhow, um, the university is a... Uh, it's just for crafting, pretty much. Nothing wrong with it. But I liked when the universities were introduced about one issue prior to their introduction in each of their locations. There's one here, there's one in Croatoa, and there's one in Founders Falls. Uh, this area used to have a giant, I think it was a giant skyscraper in it, and it was tore down and there was a whole bunch of construction equipment. So it was kind of nice that the uh, developers kind of had that... It wasn't like just all of a sudden, boom, there's this university here. They actually started planning for it. So we have a couple of clockwork over here. They should be easy. So I've, I was lucky I found some low-level clockwork. Let's get the oscillator first. Because the oscillator can fly. Ah, yes, the Tesla Knights in their holds. Okay, one more, and there were some on the ground over here, weren't there? Yep, a Cannon Knight and a Sprocket. And I already made friends with them. Yay, level 14. So let's go talk to Valkyrie, since she's a trainer in this zone. Now while we're going there, let's talk to Carla. Thanks, Zap Paladin. You did a great job. Steel Canyon residents are breathing a little easier now. The trolls are rampaging again. The security chief asked you for my name. Find him and get your assignment. Okay, we're not going to do that right now, Carla. Right over here we have Valkyrie and Positron. Valkyrie, our trainer, Positron, one of our signature heroes. Uh, he should have left his helmet on, but oh well. He used to have a helmet. Um, that actually kind of reminded me of Generation 1 Jetfire, if any of you know who that is. Um, but he hands out a task force, and Valkyrie is our trainer. So, let's go ahead and train up to a new level. So what do we got here? We've got Charge to Brawl, Lightning Field, Havoc Punch, Short Circuit, Aim. On this side, some of our pool sets, Air superior Superiority, Group Fly, Afterburner, I really don't want any of those. Flurry, Super Speed, mm, I got Flight, don't really need Flight and Super Speed. Havoc Punch. 
What's new? I don't think I have anything new since last... Um, I'm reading. I should be reading it aloud. <laughs> uh, the Havoc Punch is a slower attack than Charge Brawl, but makes up for it with a greater damage. Havoc Punch can, may... Okay, sick. Knock down targets, drain some endurance from your target, or even overload their synapses, leaving them writhing for a moment. A portion of the drained endurance may be given back to you. Distributing, disturbing an overloaded target will disperse the electrical charge and release them. Moderate damage, moderate recharge. Lightning field is a toggle, I think. Yeah, and I'm not too fond of a toggle at this point because endurance is such a pain in the butt. So... Uh, this has a recharge of 10 seconds and does about 42. This has a recharge of 14 seconds. Hmm. I mean, it would be nice to have something when critters get close. So let's go ahead. We're going to do that one. Away I go. But what I am going to do is I'm going to move that. My personal preference is to have melee in one row and ranged in another. And toggles in a third. See, like, I can... As I can lock these from being moved, I'm trying to drag it. It'd be nice if I could lock so I can't do that, like I did during the prior mission. That, if you're, if you just happen, if any of the devs happen to be watching, that'd be a nice QOL thing. All right, let's go ahead and we had uh, Lorenzo, and who was the other guy that we talked to? Actually, what does does Twinshot have anything for us? Yeah, she does. Let's talk to Twinshot. Hey, there's that paladin. Got something on your mind? Big leagues, the new digs. Looks like we're in the big leagues now, Zap Paladin. With your, with you landing us this gig as Mana, ah, with you landing us this gig as Manacor's little goon squad, we might actually get our chance to up at bat. No more sitting on bench and patrolling back alleys and rooftops for the usual rabble, you know. However, if we're gonna hit a home run, we've got to make sure our bases are loaded, right? Okay. I'm so totally over those baseball metaphors. Are you ready to get down to business? Sounds good. What do you have in mind? We're official now, but we're still not ready for prime time. I'm the only one of us who has any formal training in this kind of thing. Mm, well, maybe Grimm has some from those trials he went through. And Proton was the savior of the timeline he comes from. And I have no idea what Dillo's people taught him. Okay, so I guess I'm just talking about Flambeau here. <laughs> but hey, that's not the point. Why don't I just cut to the chase? Proton is working on his ongoing research, but I think he might have some time to help you out with some of your enhancements. Why don't you stop by our new place and see if he can give you a hand? It would do a lot for him to get away from those screens for a bit, too. Okay. So, back to King's Row. Because I would like to do her arc. And I just realized I might be in danger of out-leveling it. And instead of going all the way back to the tram station, we're going to cheat. We're going to... Well, it's not cheating. That's the whole point for these, right? There was... If you watch my City Skylines series... You may have recognized that bit of music there. Uh, when you enter our supergroup base, it plays the uh, Williams Square music. Unfortunately, Williams Square is like a level 30 through 35 area. So it will be a while before Zap Paladin can get there. And Zap will get a cape, but it's not until he gets to level 20 that I'm going to give him a cape. He could have one right now, but... Long ago, when the game first came out, you had to wait till you were level 20 to get a cape.
The new place is looking much better than Proton's old lab. You should be somewhere in the lab, tinkering away on all things new and exciting. And we already have some skulls here, apparently. Let's check out this charged brawl. Huh. Not bad. Not bad, especially once I get some enhancements in it. Gotta get some enhancements in it. <laughs> Hello. Okay. What have we here? Proton's image appears on the monitor, a look of concern etched deeply in his face as he works furiously at various knobs and dials. Now you're tampering with the security system as well? Breaking and entering is still considered Ill illegal even in this time, ruffians. Once my tests are done, I shall personally deal... Proton looks away from his instruments and focuses his sight on the monitor. Oh, Zap Paladin, it's you. You showed up just in time. What's going on here, Proton? It seems we have some uninvited guests who appear to have been rather curious as to who their new neighbors were. Were it not for the fact that I am in the middle of some very important tests at this very moment, I would deal with them immediately. If you would be so kind as to escort our unwelcomed guests from... Proton quickly looks up towards a gauge out of sight of the display. They've interrupted the algorithm with their tampering. Okay, plan B. I'm going to need you to bring down the relays entirely. In other words, I'll need you to destroy them. Once they're destroyed, they'll send one final string sequence that I can recombine into usable data. Unfortunately, this also means that we've got only one chance, so we've got to do this fast. Okay, what do you need me to do? The string relays are sturdy, but your attack should be sufficient to destroy them. Give me a moment. There, I've hooked into the spectrum monitors to analyze your destructive potential. Hmm, Zap Paladin, have you been using enhancements to boost your abilities? Of course. What hero worth his salt doesn't? That explains that the energy readings on your abilities are very near optimal. Your attack should be more than sufficient to destroy the string relays. And then some. It's reassuring to know that someone like you has our backs, Zap Paladin. Thanks, Proton. I'll get on those relays ASAP. Oh, one last thing. This should go without saying, but if you encounter any of these skull hooligans, like the one that's coming up right now... <laughs> So, I will not be able to read that. Ah, I need to get off of that. There we go. Come on. Okay, let's get out of his melee range. There we go. Okay, well, I have no idea what the rest of that that proton said. many things to target. All I do know is reading Proton stuff, it was just a lot of balonium. ones. Okay. 
Okay, I've got to get some accuracies in there, as well as I really should hide over here for the moment. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Zap died! Oh! Ah, uh, he died. Oh well. Let's go to the base. Oh well, his first death. Let's head back. And try this. All right. Ha. I'm going to do something there. If I could click things properly. temporary power, since I don't need a flight power. I don't remember these Death Head soldiers hitting this hard before. They've really uh, upped them. Wow. Yeah, I don't remember them being that heavy hitting. Another one. That's just a buckshot. Not quite the same. We're gonna hover so he can't knock me down. Strings and misses again. There we go. What have we got in here?
what's over here? I'm just curious if there's anything this way. Oh yeah, there is. Oh, don't tell me this is what I think it is. There's one room in the tech labs I hate, and yeah, this is it. Ugh. I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> There's <laughs> City of Convenience, as I said earlier. Maybe I don't have to go in there. We'll find out. <laughs> Alright, I guess, I mean, I don't know why I have to even go in here. So. Hopefully one of those uh, relay thingies aren't in there. And in fact, there's one right there. So, okay. Really got to get some accuracies in there. Oh, there's the other one right there. Okay. Actually, what I'm really going to do, since I've got the enhancements going right now, not that thing. I can take these out at my own leisurely rate. It's a great shame to have lost those relays, but at this point it was the only way to end and whatever. Yes, I've got it with this data. I think I have a way to prevent the Sheevans from awakening further. Still, I am s suspicious of this timing of this break-in. You know what, I... Can we actually have a chance to read that? Got a couple there. What do we got over here? Yeah, all right. critters up there and it looks like a single one down here Head Skull Burglar.
burglar. Makes me think of the Hamburglar. Oop, I got too close. Damn it. Let's get out of his range. Oh, he changed to a friendly. I give up, okay? Look, I'll tell you everything. What do you know about the Sheevans? Talk. The what? I don't even know what you're talking about, man. We're just here to grab some of your electronics and sell them off to those freak show guys. So, the freak show is behind this? Behind what? We were casing your joint when you were moving in and saw all those machines, man. Ain't nothing more than... Wait. Oh. Yeah. Behind it. The Skull Gang's member's face gets very sly, as if he's trying to pull one over on you. Those freak show were totally behind this, man. They brainwashed us into doing this. We were all like, no, we're law-abiding citizens. And then they, uh, used a mind control device on us and made us break into the place. Really, now, they mind controlled you, did they? The skull looks up and around it as Proton speaks over the intercom, his face becoming more worried looking. You heard the man. Off to jail with you. Oh, and, uh, oh well. All right, I really hate the Zig. <laughs> the Zig is the uh, prison in Brickstown, which is a level 30 zone. And uh, inform twin. Yeah, okay, whatever. We can't read that fast enough. Okay. And I think that would be a good spot to hang up. Uh, the tights for the night. We have gone for about an hour, folks, so gonna head back over here to Freedom Plaza. And folks, I hope you're enjoying the series. If you like the if you like the series, leave a like below. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to keep updated on whatever I put out there. Tuesdays and Thursdays is City of Heroes. Mondays and Wednesdays is Cities Skylines. So, everybody, I hope that you are enjoying the series. Like I said, I really enjoy it. I'm having a lot of fun. It's a great time to play this game. So, everybody, take care, and I will see you all in the next issue. Take care, and bye!